Hi, I'm Terry from Arcan Trailer, and in this next segment, we're going to talk about the wastewater holding tank system. So, on your on your RV, you're going to have a wastewater holding tank for your black water and your gray water. The difference between black and gray is black is the toilet waste, and gray is sink and shower waste. So the tank drains are located on the underside of the trailer here, and this trailer is equipped with a black tank flush. So after draining everything, this device here, you will hook a garden hose to and hook on the garden hose, turn it on, and it will flush and rinse your tank. The black water tank flush can only be used with the valve open. Uh, you would not want to mistake this for your city water, which is clearly tagged city water, because if you left this with the black tank closed, you would fill the tank and the water would have nowhere to go. So that could be uh, a mess. So to dump your black and gray tanks, underneath here you have a termination cap, which covers the pipe, and then you have your black tank valve and your gray tank valve. To dump your black and gray tanks, of course you're gonna need a sewer hose. So that sewer hose is often located in this trailer right here in the bumper. So right here in the bumper, we have our sewer hose connection. Now every trailer comes with, every trailer from Arcan comes with a sewer hose, but they, there are upgraded hoses available. Like this is, a, this is a Rhino hose. It's thicker, more durable plastic, and uh, less likely to leak, which is definitely a good thing. So here, we're gonna twist this hose on. There's, there's eyelets here, which we twist them on and lock it in. So we'll lock this hose in place, twisting it to get a positive connection. This end here would go into the termination in the ground. Some sites have on-site dumping. If your site does have on-site dumping, do not hook it up and open both valves. The black tank would not be okay. The reason being, is that as soon as the solids and liquids hit the bottom, the liquids would quickly run out and we would get a buildup of solids. So if you do have on-site dumping at your campsite, make sure not to dump your tanks until they're at least half full. We have a monitor to let us know when the black tank's full and when the gray tank's full. Uh, some sites don't have dumping, so you'll have to drive to a dump station. Make sure you're hooked up at an appropriate dump station You'll bring the other end of your sewer hose into the dump station, at which time you would then pull the valves straight out from the tanks, pull them all the way out and flush the, flush the system. A lot of people like to dump the black first and then follow it by the gray. Helps rinse out the hose a little bit. Either way, uh, the system still needs to be rinsed and flushed with some fresh water afterwards to help keep it clean. If you don't have the black tank flush available on your unit, there are wands available that you can hook to a hose and stick down the toilet neck and that'll help rinse out the tank. With the monitoring system on these tanks, they can get dirty, uh, causing false readings. Sometimes you'll dump the tank, you'll know it's empty, but it will still say full because there could be uh, debris on the probes if there is, uh, it is a good idea to, to fill it quarter full, half full. Um, of, you, you could use warmer water and go for a drive and let it slosh around and clean, out the, clean off the side of the tanks. Once you've dumped the tanks, black first, gray second, and you're finished rinsing, then you can close the valves, which is simply pushing these valves closed, reaching under, pushing them closed, and then you're done. You'd simply untwist the sewer valve, unhook your sewer hose, put your termination cap back in place in case anything happens. We don't want to be dripping on the ground. And then we would restore our hose in the bumper. I'm not wearing gloves because this is a brand new trailer and hasn't been used yet. But in the case of a used trailer, it is nice to wear a set of rubber gloves. All right, now we're gonna go inside and show you the uh, level gauges where to find those and we'll show you the toilet and talk to you a bit about the do's and don'ts there all right so here we have your level gauges same as a freshwater tank we have black water and gray water one but you basically push the button 
and see that the level gauge is empty, one third, two thirds are full. Obviously when it's full, it is time to dump and you need to find a dump station if there is no on-site dumping. And as we said earlier, if you are on, if you do have on-site dumping at your campsite, uh, be sure to allow the, the black tank to be at least half full to two thirds full before you dump it. Allows everything to exit the tank at the same time. Uh, this is our RV toilet. So there's a few important things to know about your toilet. Number one, you need to use RV paper. So this, this toilet paper is rated specifically to use in RVs. It says right on the tank, RV and marine tanks. So what this paper does is it actually breaks down in use. Uh, so it doesn't have the risk of clogging your tank. Any household papers that you can buy don't break down the same as this and will actually create clogs inside the tank, which creates a unfortunate situation for you to deal with or for you to pay someone like us to deal with. Either way is not the, the best scenario. Another thing with your toilet is you need to use chemical. There's many different kinds of chemical on the market. This is just a sample of one, this is T5. So this chemical here, it comes in packets. So it's a dry chemical and it comes in a pouch. So you tear this pouch open, put it down your tank and you charge this to help combat the odors. Just read the instructions on the, on the package to how much to use for, for your specific tank size, all right? The other thing about our RV toilet here is so it's a lot different than your house. It doesn't actually fill the bowl when you flush it because of transport. You don't want to have a couple gallons of water sitting in that bowl, sloshing around and spilling all over the floor when you're driving your RV around. Anytime you want to use the toilet, you're going to have to add water. This specific toilet, you use the flush pedal and you just push part way down. So if you push halfway down on the pedal, you'll actually start to fill the bowl up. All right, so you fill the bowl about halfway for, for use. And once it's full, you can go ahead, and use that toilet like normal. And uh, when you're ready to flush, you simply depress the pedal all the way and it will flush. And then you release and it will fill that half a cup of water back in there. People tend to want to conserve water when they're in their RV. You know, you only have a limited amount of potable water to use. Don't conserve it in the in toilet use. Uh, use, make sure that bowl's filled. Make sure you flush plenty of water. With too many solids, not enough liquids, the problem is the tank can clog. Again, causing that unfortunate circumstance of needing to bring it in and get it fixed or deal with that clog yourself. That's your black water system. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to visit any one of our number of locations or give us a call and we'll be happy to help. Thank you.